had the most amazing day in Ashland, Kentucky today. My first visit to Kentucky ever, I think, and Southern hospitality was alive, is alive and well. <laughs> the day started out with First, I said goodbye to my hosts who have given me this beautiful house to stay in for two nights. And then I picked up Angie, my late bloomer fan, and we went to the Cooperative Extension Office in Boyd County, which the office is actually in Catletsburg. And I had a great interview with Lori Bowling, which you'll see in a separate video, who is the uh, manager of the extension, the Ag Extension Office in Boyd County. And when I came out, I saw this major, looked like an earthen dam on the other side of the street. I said, what is that? And Angie said, that's holding back the Ohio River because there's been some serious flooding from the Ohio and in fact, a major flood in 1937. So I walked to the top of the retaining wall that's holding back the river and I looked out upon the river. And then when I came down, she said, down there they have a big concrete wall that's all painted in murals, historical photographs from Catletsburg, the flood and various aspects of life in Catletsburg. And we went down there and we were looking at the murals and when we, it started to kind of rain and we started to head back to the car and I spotted this amazing vegetable garden across the road. And I said, we have to meet whoever's garden that is. And we went over and she had several people helping in her garden to get it ready for the, uh, the garden tour of Ashland on Sunday. Unfortunately, I won't be here. And the owner drove up and her name is Judy Fannin and Judy is a 79 year old dynamo. She's published a number of cookbooks. She has beautiful gardens. Her home and her extension garden at this location is on display on Sunday at the the garden tour and you will see Judy in a separate video. She's amazing. So then, oh, <laughs> we got caught in a downpour. We got absolutely drenched. This doesn't happen in LA very often. <laughs> and so we made tracks back to come up here and change clothes and freshen up. Where did that thing come from? seemed like it was in the house. Yeah, it had to have been. Well, I guess it could have got blown onto the door, but... Maybe when we opened the door, it was already on there, I didn't, but I didn't see it on there. And then we went down to the Paramount Theater now, Paramount Studios, back in the 30s, built a number of these elaborate movie houses to show their silent films. They had about 10 of them planned or in construction when the Depression hit, and they scaled back their plans. But Ashland is one of the few cities that has renovated the theater back to its initial vintage beauty and elegance and prominence.
we got a little tour of the theater and I actually got to vocalize on that big stage for a couple of minutes. <laughs> that was exciting. Then uh, someone had recommended, I think Lori had recommended and Judy had recommended the jockey club at Corby's department store. And we went down there and we had some refreshments appropriate to Kentucky, if you know what I mean. And got to meet Corby himself. And when I had a wonderful waitress, Julie, who's a good old friend of Corby's, had a wonderful time there. I highly recommend the Jockey Club at Corby's. So we're gearing up for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning early is the farmer's market. <laughs> We've got to get there before they sell out. It starts at 7, so that's going to be a big day. And then I'll be seeing Angie's Garden in the evening. But stay with me. I've got lots more to come. Well, I don't really. <laughs> Tomorrow's my last day. And then I head to Cincinnati and fly home. As always, thanks so much for watching these videos, giving me that thumbs up, and sharing them with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm having a piece of chocolate chess pie from the Jockey Club at Corby's to end my day. Oh! <laughs>